I am very happy to do this introductory talk to Kanakadhara. Kanakadhara is a hymn that Adi Shankara composed. There is a story about it. Uh, Adi Shankara, the great uh, pontiff of the Indian tradition, was uh, uh, begging. You know, it is the tradition there to, uh, for uh, renunciates to go and beg his beg for his food. And there was a woman. Um, the uh, house he was begging, and then, uh, and she was not uh, forthcoming with an answer. And uh, Adi Shankara, being an enlightened man with a lot of mystical powers, knew what was going on. There was no food in the house, and then, uh, and she was very upset that she could not feed this saint. But finally, she uh, was able to find a dried grape, uh, an old one, and that was all left out uh, in the house, and she gave him as an offering. <clears throat> now, um, Shankara immediately knew that uh, what really was uh, happening. He was, she was looking for food and there was no food. And he immediately called on uh, Lakshmi, the goddess of, uh, of wealth, and told her to interfere uh, on her behalf and uh, rain gold for some time over the house. Lakshmi told him that it was not possible because uh, she has karma that uh, she did uh, from her past life that's preventing her from uh, being rich or, or uh, affluent. Shankara said, okay, that's not agreeable to me now that... Uh, she has earned good karma by um, uh, donating this food, although this is a very s small fruit, uh, and then for which she deserves uh, good karma. So give her money. And then uh, Lakshmi uh, conceded, and then for some time there was gold uh, rain showering on the house. It's a very, very emotional story, but true. So what it uh, conveys us is that Lakshmi does exist. See, if you, if you know uh, uh, a little bit, even a little bit about Shankara, he was a Mayavadi, you know, he's a basically a philosopher. And how could a philosopher believe in a goddess? That was his last realization, that philosophy is not going to break, you know, uh, bake bread, and then you have to really work with these divine beings. So I'm happy that uh, this uh, uh, chanting of Kanagadara uh, is taking place, and I want you to, uh, to take advantage of this. Sometime in October during Navaratri, I will do uh, a, a commentary on uh, some of the hymns of uh, Kanakadara. It will take at least for a half an hour to 45 minutes for me to explain even one uh, hymn. Okay, so wait for that. Until then, enjoy these uh, chanting sessions. God bless.